The future of cooking is finally here. I can take this cell phone here and cook a meal with it. Yeah, sure, I can use my cell phone to dial out takeout, but what I mean is with this cell phone and this new Anova precision cooker, I can make amazing meals like corn on the cob, fish, steak, and today we're gonna make lamb. Best thing of all, you don't have to know anything about cooking and you get perfect results. It's absolutely foolproof. So how easy is it? You just take a large pot, you go to your sink, you fill it up with water. Now I use hot water just to make it a little bit quicker. And then you take your Anova precision cooker, you plug it in, you clamp it onto the side of your pot or whatever vessel you're using, and you just screw it on, it turns on. Then you take your phone, you open up the app, you connect it with the cooker itself, and now you have access to lots of recipes. The best thing about it is that you don't even have to do any searching on the internet. I want to do rack of lamb. I went to recipes and I just found uh, a recipe that I really liked. I hit start and automatically the Nova comes to life and starts circulating the water and heating it at the same time. So this lamb calls for 134.6 degrees for two hours and 30 minutes. So the next step while it's preheating is you're gonna prepare your food. And that could be if it's beef, it's vegetables, today it's lamb. So I'm gonna season that lamb up. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic, some rosemary with it. And then I'm gonna put it into a vacuum bag, vacuum sealer bag. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, don't worry about it. You can just grab a Ziploc bag, a large freezer one, and just put it in there. And uh, we're gonna seal it up. And that's gonna go into the water when the temperature is ready. We are at uh, uh, current temperature is 134.5 and we're gonna, we went 0.6. It did beep, so it does regulate very, very accurately. And we are, basically it says that we can put it in. Temperature reach, water is now ready. You can place your ingredients in the pot. So we are gonna place our lamb. Careful, it is hot. And we're gonna hit okay. And what that does now, it has set a timer, you can see on here, we're at 143.3. Now the, the temperature is gonna go down a little bit because you've just put something that's room temperature or colder into that water, but it will bring itself back up to temperature. And now we also have uh, our timer here, uh, two hours and 30 minutes, and it's gonna show you uh, what the set temperature is, is 134.6 as well. So how does the Anova Precision Cooker work? Well, there is an element there's a circulating blade that circulates the water and then of course there's some sort of a, a processor and a thermostat and what it does it regulates it so it can basically be within like fractions of a degree that's why we're set at 134.6 right now and it'll maintain that yes there are do-it-yourself methods to do this type of cooking which is called sous vide and this method has been around for many many years it's just becoming more popular now because the prices have come down where these units can make their way into consumer households. And that's why I wouldn't bother with the, the DIY methods anymore because these have become so affordable right now on Amazon. I, I saw this same unit, which is the Bluetooth Wi-Fi one, uh, for $169 on sale. For that price, why bother for the do it yourself when this does everything, it's nice and compact, it's super easy to use, and you have that app which is available for iOS or uh, Android, and uh, you just set it and literally forget about it. And even if you do forget about it for a little bit longer, it's not gonna make a difference. Why? Well, think of this, this is how it works. Conventional cooking cooks from the outside in. So you take a one and a half inch steak, you put it onto a frying pan or your grill, and as it's cooking, you want that, that middle nice and pink, for instance, if you like that medium rare, which I do, and most people do. So in order to get that medium rare, both sides of that steak are gonna start cooking from the outside in. And yeah, you're gonna get medium rare in a nice little, tiny little bit in the middle. But in order to get the entire thing, it's impossible because of the size of the steak. So what sous vide does is, is you basically take your temperature and you're making sure that that's the temperature you're gonna heat that steak to, or in our case, the lamb, and it's gonna be all the way through. Yes, it's gonna take a little bit of time, let's say, let's say like an hour or two, 
but the beauty of it, it's not gonna be overcooked. And that's a big fear, especially when you're dealing with expensive cuts of meat or fish. Things that you've never cooked before, this is a foolproof way. So after it's done, what do you do? Well, you just take it out of the bag and one thing is missing is you're not missing that nice coating or crust that you'd get from frying. So what you do, you take your frying pan, your griddle, uh, your cast iron frying pan, barbecue, and you sear it on both sides for about a minute and there you go, you've got perfect, perfect cooking within it. So why this is good, first of all, foolproof, perfect results, but it's great for entertaining. I've been to a Super Bowl party where the host had probably about a dozen New York strip loins and he had them in the sous vide in the bath and he just had them in there and built the whole game. And uh, by the end of the game, he's like, let's have some steak. All he did is he took them out of the bags we dried them a little bit and he just seared them. Guess what? He was able to enjoy his party. Instead of entertaining all the time, he was enjoying and he wasn't overcooking the beef at all. And that's one huge advantage of cooking with this method. This Innova Precision Cooker is the Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth model. There is a Bluetooth only model as well. So why do you get the Wi-Fi? First of all, why not? Anyways, uh, what the Wi-Fi allows you to do is allows you to communicate with your cooker from anywhere with your phone. So perfect example, let's say uh, I want to have steak when I get home at six o'clock and I know it's, I want to cook it for an hour or two, but I'm not going to be home till six. So I can actually start the cooker at four o'clock when I'm on the way home or almost finishing work. And by the time I get home, it's all I got to do is take it out of that bag and then sear it. So you can monitor it doing that. All you have to do is before you leave the house, all you do is you prep it and you actually put ice in it, make an ice bath so it stays cool the entire day. So all there is now to do is just wait until the lamb is ready. All right, dinner time now, busy time in the kitchen. The kids are playing as well. And we literally left it and we forgot about it for two and a half hours. I went about doing my daily activities, doing things, picking up uh, Brooklyn from daycare, cooking a few other dishes and playing with the kids. So uh, it's really a no brainer. You really, he just basically hit that button on the app and it just let it go. And uh, there's no mess really either. It's a clean pot with water and a plastic bag. So all we did, we took that bag out when the timer went off. We took the lamb out, we dried it, patted it dry, and then on a nice hot griddle, you can use a frying pan with some hot oil, uh, we just seared it for about a minute per side, and then we just let it sit for about five minutes. We cut it open. Man, oh man, it was just perfectly pink. The way that uh, I like it. Of course, you could have a little more rare, but uh, since the kids don't like it that rare, I thought 134 degrees was was just fine for this. It is a really good consistency. So how does it taste? Well, the proof is in the lamb chop here. As you can see, the color is even throughout the, from edge to edge. It is perfect. When you bite into it, mm. seriously, this is, if you like lamb, this is to die for. Mm -mm -mm. So we just proved seriously that if you can use an, a smartphone, you can cook like this. Now, just a couple of things to note. I did think the cord that comes with the Anova is a little bit short. That's why I moved it to the back because on the island, I was a little bit afraid that uh, the, the kids could actually pull on that cord. It might pull that pot down of hot water. So that wasn't good. So a little longer cord might be uh, better. And then also I did have a problem connecting to the Wi-Fi once. And so I phoned the toll free number. I left a message and they did get back to me within two hours with a solution. So that was great. So anyways, thanks for watching. Mm. You guys want some? Mmm, lamb.